We are Karthik and Sim. Along with our dog Everest, this week we attempt to check off a bucket list hike Volcano Akatanango in Guatemala to see an active volcano. Antigua is a hub for all adventure activities in Guatemala. We decided to get an Airbnb to stash all our valuables while we were out hiking for two days, and our tour operator picked us up first thing in the morning and drove us out an hour to the trailhead. Joining in on this adventure with us were our friends Alex and Dari, all the way from Russia. Mm, our tour guides here are packing the food. Aha. This is our guide, Mr. Hello. What's your name? My name is Minor. Minor is our guide. And this is all the food we are taking. The hike is broken into four sections defined by terrain and altitude. We're currently at the trailhead at an altitude of 2,340 meters. This is our lunch. The guy here will let you know one point where you want to get your lunch. What was it? It was very good. Don't do it. If you do it, you won't do it. If you don't do it, you'll miss a lot of things. I think an hour or so in. It's been straight uphill so far. This guy, this is not good for motivation, but we are starting the hike right now. More or less, in one hour we are going to have lunch break. Then we will be like a halfway from the beginning to the base camp at the lunch break. Everest is a total champ. He's been going up and down like a million times. We'll have done this hike like at least three times, I think, by the time we finish. So far. Good. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Feeling, Coffee. Feeling good. And power rate. Power rate. Uh, it's not power rate. It's power eight. Power eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big one. Uh... <laughs> you got this. It's a hard hike. I'm proud of you. Not easy. Very, very steep, huh? Two more hours to the base camp and then we can relax and watch Fuego. Who's doing the sunset hike? We'll see. <laughs> okay. 
I think I'll save my energy for sunrise. Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. We'll see. Our personal Mercedes Benz <laughs> leading us <laughs> to the summit. Provecho. <laughs> Bien, 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 mucho bien. Super steep hike. Definitely on the harder side of the trail reading. Slowly gaining altitude. It's just been a straight, straight uphill. So this part of the hike is absolutely gorgeous. We're pretty much wrapping around Volcano Agua. Almost at base camp, I think, because the trail is getting flat. Oh boy, it's gonna be good to sit down and watch the views from there. This is our tent, nice and cozy. It's pretty good, huh? After a lot of pain and suffering, and just a lot of pain, <laughs> almost like five and a half hours, six hours of hiking, we made it to our campsite. Four of us have a private campsite because of Everest, and the views are phenomenal. Vulcan Fuego made it just in time for sunset, and uh, trying to stay warm, drink some hot drinks, and watch the night show. It's gonna be a good night. It's going to be an incredible night, I think. Oh my god, it's too cute! It's uh, 4 a.m. in the morning and uh, me and Alex are thinking about doing the summit uh -huh. to the top of the uh, Atenango. I don't even know how to say this volcano, it's too early. But uh, we've had a terrible night of sleep because uh, it's just cold and uh, not a very comfortable place to sleep in and uh, earthquakes every few 20 minutes or so from the volcano erupting. Some massive ones last night you could hear like the earth rumbling. There's one where I could even feel the orange glow inside the tent from the volcano, from Fuego erupting, which is pretty wild. Pretty sure this is the final push. Really hard morning, oh my God. Made it, made it to the top. Very, very windy up here also, but the views, they're so worth it. Oh my god. You can see the sun just coming up from the horizon. It's gonna be amazing.
that's the route we came through early in the morning. Climbed all the way up to the summit here. Heading back down after watching sunrise. Can't wait to have some coffee. See Sim, Alex and Dari. Show them some photos. Tell them what they missed out on. See you guys back down at base camp. Fuego in the back, constantly erupting like every 20 minutes. Pretty crazy that you can get this close to it at a safe distance and watch nature doing its work. Pretty sure I came down the wrong way, but I made it. Once I made it back to base camp, I had that well-deserved coffee, had some breakfast, and that was it. It was time to go back down the same way we came up. All right guys, welcome back to the van. That was our video to our hike to Akatanango Volcano. What an incredible, incredible experience it was. It's definitely a bucket list moment for us. This section, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about the details and the process behind doing this particular hike. The first thing you wanna do is get to the town of Antigua. Antigua is kind of the hub of where all the adventure activities in Guatemala start from. You really have two options to do this hike. You can either do it by yourself because the trailhead is accessible. Everything is marked out pretty clearly. All you got to do is pay for the registration or what I would suggest is get a local tour operator. The reason why I say this is because if you do this by yourself, you're going to have to carry all your hiking gear with you, your sleeping gear with you and your food and water, which is a lot for this kind of altitude and inclination that you're gonna be climbing over just a few hours. So that's why I recommend you take a local tour operator with you who will already have all the gear for you up at base camp and all you have to do is carry your water. So basically with the tour operators, you get what you pay for. So don't cheap out too much because your sleeping arrangement and your meals might not be that good compared to the ones where you do pay a little bit higher. Trust me, you want good food after a long day of hiking. So that's important. The particular tour company that we went with was G2 Adventures. They were not too amazing. They were not really bad also. They were just perfectly fine. The guys are amazing. Paid around 300 quetzales, which is $40 American per person. We paid a little bit more because we had to get a private tent sleeping situation because of Everest. Hike itself is very, very challenging. The distance itself is not too long, but it's the inclination that gets challenging. And just the terrain itself towards the end, it's just really loose sand that you have to dig through and make it up there. You start at the trailhead at 2,340 meters. You've already gained a little bit of altitude from Antigua when you drive up to the trailhead. And then you gradually climb up to the base camp at 3,650 meters high. So it is pretty high. Some people will get altitude sickness, so watch out for that. On the first day, you will be reaching the base camp and that's where all the action happens. You will see Volcano Fuego erupt from base camp. All night long, every 20 minutes, there's eruptions guaranteed, as long as the weather is clear and good for you. And for the ambitious hikers, you also have the option to pay 200 quetzales on the spot once you get to base camp to hike on the actual Volcano Fuego. So this gets you even closer to the lava. If you have the strength and courage to do it, I would recommend it. In our group, we were all pretty beat. After just hiking up to base camp, we skipped it out. And instead, what you do in the following morning, very, very early in the morning, as you saw in the video, at 4 a.m. you wake up and do a sunrise hike to the summit of Agatanango Volcano. Our biggest tips for this hike would be to carry enough water. We carried around three liters each, and that includes three liters for Everest. We actually gave Everest more of our water than what we had drank ourselves. So we were actually running a little short on water on the way back. Water is very essential. You're not gonna get any water up there. Make sure you get hiking sticks. You can rent them at the entrance of the trailhead. Very cheap, like five quetzales. Just get them or better yet, bring your own because those ones are wooden and not as good. Lastly, I would say, make sure you pack warm layers because it does get very cold up there. You remember, you're pretty high up. 
in the volcano and the base camp so it gets below freezing over there so below zero degrees double socks hoodie gloves toque all the essentials you need for cold weather you better take it up with you and don't take extra clothes or anything like that just make sure you have enough warm layer that's about it guys i mean the hike itself is definitely manageable and doable as long as you take your time put one step in front of the other make sure you hydrate yourself enough and you will get up to base camp and have an amazing amazing experience i hope this video inspired you to get out there and do this hike for yourself it's definitely one of those bucket list moments yes it's a little touristy but who cares this one is worth the hype so if you guys do make it up there leave a comment down below after you come back and let me know how your hike was show some love to this video because i worked really hard on it like subscribe share all the good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next adventure